Hey guys, Alvi here, and welcome back to the Codex. In this video, we're continuing our Python and FOSS series, learning more about web forms and how we can actually take the data from the form and do something with it. So in this scenario, guys, I have went ahead and created a user.html page. And right now, all it does is it extends based on HTML and it has a block content. So go ahead and right click on your templates and add in your own user.html page. I went ahead and did this to save some time. Once you have this done, guys, go ahead and go to your server.py. And in this scenario, we're trying to check to see when the form gets submitted. So we're going to write the condition if form.submit is submitted. In this scenario, we want to go ahead and do something. You're also going to notice that our route now has two methods, get and post. And the reason for this is because once the user submits it, the signup page itself gets the form data. So that's why we need a get page to render the form in the first place and a post request in order to get the form data. So in this scenario, if form dot is submitted is true. We know that the form has been submitted. We're going to say result is equal to request dot four. And in this scenario, guys, I went ahead and imported request up over here, as you can see from flask import request. So go ahead and do that as well. That is pretty essential. Once that is done, we now have the form data. You can basically do anything with this. In our scenario, we're going to go ahead and render user to HTML with this result. So I'm going to say return render template user.html. And then my result is going to be equal to the result of the form. Now, if you go ahead and print out the result, guys, you're going to go ahead and see that the result is actually an immutable dictionary. What that means for us is we can go ahead and iterate through each item in our dictionary, get the key, get the value and display it to the user. So over here, I'm going to go ahead and create a table with border equals one. And inside of this, I'm going to go ahead and create a for loop for key comma value in result dot. Uh, I believe the value function is items. Okay. Then all we're going to go ahead and do is end the for loop right over here, percent and four and close it. So inside of this, guys, we're going to go ahead and create our very own table. So table row, and then each table will have a key. And each, I guess, the second part of the table will have our very own value. Okay, fantastic. So all we're doing here, guys, is we were able to create our table key value and result of items. We're rendering each key and each value. Now, theoretically, you can do whatever you want with this form data. I'm just displaying it so you can actually see what's going on. Go ahead and save that and restart our server. And let's refresh. Um, that was some test data, but let's go ahead and try this again. So Avi, Avi, sign up and fantastic. The username is Avi, the password is Avi, and we get the submit field as well. Now, theoretically guys, once you have your very own server.py set up and you have this result is equal to request.form, you can do anything with it. Again, it is a dictionary that you can go ahead and play around with. You can go through the objects, you can go to another page, you can redirect the user, things like that. For now, all I'm doing is I'm rendering user to HTML in this page with our data. Anyways, fantastic job, guys. That is how you get the data from a form once it's submitted. Again, very, very straightforward. Form that is submitted. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.